um, I have a command hook obsession. Like, it's bad. Hey guys, I'm Jewel. Welcome to my channel, Miss Line Mom. It's where we get shit done that we need to do, that we haven't done that we need to do. Things to do with command hooks other than just mounting keys and mounting like pictures or canvases or art. Uh, 12 different things to do with them that I've discovered living in a tiny home um, in an apartment that it was very not organized and then very organized. I'm also going to share three tips on how to best use those command hooks so it kind of like upgrades your performance even more that I've learned myself the hard way. Yep, we uh, we just need to get organized. Let's do it, let's do some shit, you guys. All right, remotes. We all have them to the TV that we watch but we can never find or the kids play with and then they like don't poke back and it's a nightmare. So I put Velcro, command Velcro on my remote, yeah. So you can find it. This is our main remote, like lower, where the kids can like stick it back up on the wall so they know exactly where it goes. So when advice would be to go ahead and clean the area really well because it's like pretty oily from like hands and stuff. Um, so, all right, remotes is the first. Let me show you where ours is in our small, tiny home that we love so much. All right, right there, there she is. Boom, next to the melatonin, sleeping so good. Off the floor and where I can find it. Boom. All right, we're moving on to number two. Um, so this is, again, using command Velcro, but it's something that we need occasionally, more than a few times a year, especially with kids, but that is like hard to find for some reason. Like, why is there not like a particular spot? Well, I figured it out. Ready for this? This is gonna change your life. Okay, watch. Boop, boop, boop. <gasps> a thermometer too! Oh my goodness, an oral one and then a and then a forehead one. You guys, it's right here, it's sick kid. <gasps> oh, hello, let me just take your, oh, right there, boom. Look at that, look at that beautiful little guy. And then we just hang him back up when we're done. And we don't ever have to think about him again. Yes. Okay, it's, it's about putting organizing systems in place and then we just have to like set it and forget it. You know what I mean? So third way to use command hook, this is gonna blow your mind, okay? Are you ready for this? Third way, other than hanging freaking keys and a picture to organize your life. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Cords, but not just like any cords. Look, we have earphones. Look at, you guys never can find the earphones, like it's right there. And then power cables. And these, this is like all different kinds of power cables. And then we like kind of put up like the USB or the jack, you know, like the connector for like speakers and phones and whatnot. But right there look at all those so for all the different things and then well not a command hook thing but you know you just grab it grab it and go all right number five is keys wait i thought you said you weren't going to say keys for command hook tip no i'm not talking about your car keys which i do recommend using a command hook by the way but i'm talking about keys that you never use extra car keys and keys that like best friend or your parents or something of like extra keys to their whatever whatever are right there all right command hook number five clips look at these cute little command clips i picked these up like not too long ago they're pretty new for like command you just take them down so cute and then I took it a step farther and used it for my son's art wall. Did these little command clips for his art. And let me show you right now. Oh my gosh, look at all that beautiful art. That Look at that. And then you just, when you want to change it, just take it down. Now I put them in these like little slip covers, just crinkles like it's coming at you. Well, I 
like to put them in these slip covers to keep it all nice and pretty. And then uh, you just hang it on up there and call it good. Look at that. Okay, another way to use a command hook, electronics. So a lot of iPads have these covers that they have straps and you're like, what do I do with these straps? Like they're, they're pointless. Well, my wife and I, we don't like the, we don't like TVs in our bedroom, but sometimes we like to watch TV, something on our phone. Right next to our bed, we have like all here. We just use a command hook, can hang it up. Oh, and also another thing my wife suggested is putting a command hook up in the bathroom for your iPad. Okay, so this tip is kind of like a three-in-one. Here is for my headphones, which I used last night and did not put them back because, you know, that's kind of like the person who I am. This, these little headphones, these normally now wound up and then they just like hang right there. Boom. And, but I can always find them and these are like bedroom headphones. So in case like I can't sleep and I want to put on something but my wife's like dead asleep. And then also back here, you see this. One more tip for the bedside area is like hanging something like this little organizer guy somewhere where you can't see it. And the rule of thumb for my house because, you know, my bedside table is so organized, whatever is here that's not supposed to be here always doesn't live here but like everything you see lives here like i always have two bucks lotion and then my little like side caddy and then my headphones my eye mask and there you go that's it it's always organized perfect so another way to use a command hook is in the kitchen and you're like what where where can i use this command hook in the kitchen and it's pot holders because they come with like a little rubber band for a reason my little pot holders they're right here boom Okay, so another really, really big tip I have for using a command hook, I think that this may be one thing for me. This is so stupid, but hair bands. Yeah, obviously I'm married to a woman and she had long hair up until um, about a year ago. And so we had like double the hair bands, but if you have like a bunch of daughters, so I recommend putting up like little command hooks in their room. So they put all their little, just hair bands, not headbands or necklaces or bracelets. Like you will save so much money because you'll not lose them and you won't have to buy more. So I put it behind my mirror right here. So this is like the bigger outdoor hook, so it's big, so it can like hold a good amount. Like these little hooks are for like rings and stuff. And then when you get dressed in the morning, you just like, whoop, and then boom. And so I'm obsessed with command hooks. Can you tell? I just like have them everywhere. Another place, oh bam, look at that. An Ikea little felt organizer. I have like a small bathroom, so I have to take advantage of my vertical space. But like I have these, and you guys, this is a curved wall. It's curved, you guys. There's no excuse not to use command hooks. They go freaking everywhere. They're so amazing. So you know the, the like little remotes and stuff that you um, have random things that you don't want to throw away, but you need, right? Well, I didn't put this in the remote category. You need to put Velcro on stuff that you need, but you don't want to see. And But you know where it is. So kind of like the keys, except for it's a little bit different because this stuff is like hidden all the time. Like you're never going to use it, but you need, or you might sell or when you move or something. So boom. Okay. Look at this. Reach up here. Bam. Remote to, I don't even know. Oh, the fireplace. <laughs> Remote to the fireplace. I don't know. <laughs> so you reach up there and you're like, okay, all right, that's cool. Okay. You guys can't even see it. And then look this remote to I, I think this is the the TV this the remote uh, the radio Bluetooth DVD player thing but um, you never see it like just think about if you like go through your whole house collecting all the remotes that you don't you shouldn't throw away or you don't know what to do with yet um, another really good thing to do is like in the car probably should be on the list but it's not um, I have um, like a winter like ice scraper like velcroed in my car this you need it but like you don't want to lose it and you don't know where it is and I don't want it to take up space so I just have it like velcro up there and 
I know where it is. It's awesome. Look at this. So cute. So cute. So cute. Oh, there's the crap I don't want to see. Boom. Life changing. I'm going outside and it's like so bright. But I want to show you. Look at door wreaths. Another way. Look at that kids items so we have one on the back of my son's closet that we change out for different things like in the summertime we hang like his goggles because he we swim like every day it's not summertime we normally hang um his headphones there um and then or like other random things so let me just show you right now and then it's just like right here and we have a little rubber band hanging so like right here his little like fancy like church shirt or picture day or just like something to look a little bit fancier or to throw over a t-shirt and look fancy so we have rubber bands so when you take them off they're just like you just hang them up and so when I'm like folding laundry and putting them away I can just like grab them real quick and like put them on there so perfect but kids when you hang them up there though kids like know where it goes side note my command hook obsession is like I'm realizing now filming this video that it is it is so bad because I'm like finding more things that I thought was on my list but it's not on my list so here's another thing to use for a command hook more than 12 definitely you're getting in this video look look at this little sideways command hook headband and door just like holds the door back so when we're like going in and out because you know we have limited space we have to like take advantage of you know the the door being in the way so we just, look at that. And then when we want to close it, go to the bathroom, boom. And then more command hooks. You guys, they're everywhere. Please, like, I need to go to command hook rehab because this is like, this is too much. This is too much. And there's more on the list. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so tip number one is to use alcohol on the area before you apply the command. So tip number two is to not put the command strip in direct sunlight or with moisture. Sometimes they'll end up like not sticking and fall off. So just try and avoid that. Um, and then tip number three is my favorite. Have a command hook command center. Boop. So right here, we this, in the little baggies. And then right here where you find them. Look it, outdoor. So I always know where they are because like the worst thing about buying command hooks is not finding them and being like, oh, I was gonna do something with that. You need a command hook command center. 